Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cinderella Mouse and today I have a brand new build for you uh, involving the Sims 4 Life and Death Expansion Pack which I was given it early access to courtesy of the EA Creator Network. So I have a bit of a funeral business going here. I am using multiple packs, uh, particularly Seasons and uh, which one was it? Get to Work which brought the retail system. Uh, so the idea of this is maybe have a couple running this. Uh, one of them might be a funeral director but in the funeral director career I really wish it had work from home tones uh, so that I could do it as an active career but it doesn't and I'm bothered about it but moving swiftly on um, and also kind of like the idea of um, having someone who is running kind of a flower shop I know here that there's a lot of flower shops around kind of cemeteries and things because people like to take flowers to the grave sites of their loved ones uh, so I thought this kind of hand in hand business was kind of a fun idea so I want to show you the flower shop first because I'm kind of excited about this specifically so I am running it as a retail venue um, it has this gorgeous little display out the front so this does use move objects on uh, just to get that really kind of cluttered scattered kind of look oh by the way if you can hear the fan on my computer it's been a bit loud today I'm sorry if that's distracting but uh just wanted to point that out um, but yeah so these kind of like stacked flowers I wanted to give it that kind of look of like all the different options that you see when you walk past flower shops in real life you can set these for sale if you want to but be warned that I did use move objects on so it's more for the visual of like the frontage of the shop what I'm really interested in is what's going on inside but before we step in there there's also a little crow that you might want to speak to you out here let's just kind of get him moving there he is adorable um, and again with this being in the brand new world of Ravenwood I wanted to kind of make it look um, a little bit like kind of that village feel oh here comes Christopher Volkov to say hey are you demonstrating the chess table when I was about to talk about it oh he is a good boy who's a good boy who's a good boy he's a werewolf so I talk to him like he's a puppy uh, but yeah I like this idea of kind of like um, you know sometimes in kind of like uh, small villages or like European towns you kind of had like the old men who sit outside like they sit out the front of the shop and they kind of play chess or you know they, you, where it's a bit quieter you know maybe business isn't kind of booming but you know they need to hang around you know they're outside socializing and just waiting for those customers to show up so that's the kind of idea of the little chess table there I love these kind of planters as well I did use the same trees that you kind of find in the kind of central area one thing to know and I'm actually checking this right now is that even though it's fall it's like autumn the leaves in the outer world don't seem to be changing so I'm actually just play testing that and giving that a few days to see if that changes um, I've used the really gorgeous new greenhouse uh, roof and windows there's no door but uh, I love these kind of like broken effects so you can kind of have like full windows and broken ones I think it's really cute again just to kind of get that feeling of like maybe there's not a huge amount of money in this area maybe things do get a little bit run down but it's very kind of like make do and mend uh, and I like that kind of uh, nostalgic feeling to the place and he's in there right now tending the plants oh my goodness he just knows he just knows so let's follow him in and see what else is going on in here there's a little like shop sign above the door it's all very cute uh, oh he's coming out now <laughs> so in here the idea of this is that you are going to use the flower arranging station that comes with seasons to kind of craft all these floral bouquets uh, for special occasions and it, this is great if like me you enjoy rotational play so maybe you've got a few different households in town I just saw Cinderella walk past in her like reaper outfit <laughs> I saw her in like the mirror in the window um so yeah like if you play rotationally like me and you have lots of different households and maybe you like the idea of kind of like the personal touch of having like a crafted bouquet that's actually made by a sim um, but you don't want to necessarily have your sim make the flower arrangement themselves like I like the idea of kind of like keeping this small business idea going and kind of buying it from other sims in the area so this table has kind of like uh, I'm just gonna jump out of tab mode oh my goodness <laughs> what am I doing up here down 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 
up, too far down. <laughs> there we go. So this table here has kind of like funerary arrangements on it. So you can see I've got the funerary alabaster, uh, I've got the white lilies, and I've got the white orchids. Um, over here, I've got kind of more uh, kind of love or wedding theme. So I've got one of the wedding bouquets, and I've also got like a bouquet of roses, the romantic rouge. Uh, down here, I've got like 12 dozen roses and another floral bouquet. So again, that's kind of more romantic themed. Uh, and then over here, I was going to have like seasonal stuff. So because it's fall, I've got the autumn night. So I figured you could have like springtime flowers in spring, winter bouquets in winter that kind of thing um, and the good thing about the bouquets as well and one thing I really really love about flower arranging is that they do kind of uh, lose quality over time and they'll need replacing so if you wanted to if you had a romantic couple and you wanted fresh flowers um, you know every week you could go and buy a bouquet of fresh flowers for your loved one uh, and kind of you know make it kind of an ongoing thing uh, the same with like remembering people who've passed on if you're on your way to the cemetery uh, and you want to go and tend the grave and keep it nice you know maybe you want to pick up a fresh bouquet of flowers and kind of replace the ones that are kind of not doing so great from the previous week so I really love that idea um, and going in here this is kind of like the little room uh, where he's kind of create like making more flowers to use in his bouquets so he's got orchids uh roses and lilies because i felt like they were particularly you know symbolic of like death um but you can put whatever you want in here basically uh and they will grow it is like a little greenhouse and the great thing is that they're protected from the seasons so if you have seasons installed um and you have these outside can you see there it says uh, sheltered seasons fall and spring so if this was outside in summer it wouldn't be growing it would only growing fall and spring but because it's sheltered they'll grow all season round so a handy little thing there let me just show you as well how um making bouquets works so he is level 10 so he can make pretty much anything including the my wedding stories wedding bouquets which i think is great cross compatibility there but i think we should go in and what do we want to make i'll show you all and we can look at all the options so one of the things that I like to do is filter by price uh, and you can see some of them are actually free uh, but if we filter by price again we go to the most expensive one first I don't have any orchids currently so I can't craft that uh, for free it's going to cost me the price of the ingredients basically you can see here that because I've got one lily that the price has been reduced but what I'm looking for are the ones that are free to make so that I can make the biggest profits so I'm going to grow the flowers and use them as ingredients to create free bouquets and then sell them for the highest price basically so this one here the pink champagne is going to be free for me to make because I have all the ingredients uh, and then I can really maximize my profits so again those orchid bouquets are worth a lot of money so I want to really focus on uh, like growing more orchids uh, the quality as well is important so growing higher quality flowers for higher quality bouquets you can see the one that I'm hovering over here is actually a masterpiece so I'm going to get more money for that you can also bump up the prices if you wanted to um, it does feel a bit exploitative, exploitative because it's kind of like you know you're maximizing profits based on someone's grief <laughs> and their love for the partner um, um, but you, if you want to you can go ahead and uh, set store prices and you can kind of like mark things up or mark things down um, so uh, yeah he's currently just got it on the normal price up 25% uh, seems reasonable especially when he's growing things for free and making them for free the only thing it's costing is his time and expertise um, I have currently got a little bit of a bug with this. Um, I did check with one of my friends who uh, knows a lot about the bugs in the game um, and they tested it and they don't have this bug. So when you see it, kind of just know that you may experience this bug or you may not. I am going to make a report on it as well. Uh, let's just fast forward so I can kind of show you what's going on here. I love the salt bay, the salt bay sprinkle. There we go. So he's crafted this absolutely gorgeous kind of pink champagne oh, bouquet. Absolutely well, gorgeous. I do think that one would be really nice for wedding. So I'm going to go ahead and drag it across. Now you can do this in live edit or you can drag it to his inventory or do it in build mode. You don't have to do it quite as awkwardly as me. I have actually got a 
a problem with my mouse the right button isn't clicking properly I've got a new mouse I just haven't installed it yet so if you are noticing my terrible like camera movements that's why uh, but yeah there you go it's that um, if I wanted to as well I could also change the bars on it so you can see here this one's got a red bars uh, this one's got like a nest bars and you just do that on while the bouquet is on the changing state ch changing station and you just do that while the bouquet is on the flower arranging station itself. Uh, but I'm going to leave the white sparkly one because I think it's quite pretty. And then what you do, you can make them heirlooms as well, which I think is very cool. But just know that they do lose quality over time and they will go bad. It's a bit like food. You know, the flowers will spoil. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and, oh, you can scent them as well while they're on the table. Be warned though, there is a way. And I don't know which flower it is specifically. I feel like it's the death flower. But if you scent it with a certain flower, I think it can kill sims which if you're doing some kind of black widow challenge could be really cool but I avoid that so you're gonna have to figure that one out for yourselves um but yeah you can go ahead you can also list them on Plopsy which I'll get to in a second but what I'm looking to do here is set it for sale of course you can sell it directly from your inventory um I like running a business and again you can mark up the profit I just like the process of crafting things and then selling them it feels realistic to me to kind of run the business in that way uh so let's Let's open up the store and I can show you this in action uh, so go ahead and open store and then people should start to mill in sorry my phone's pinging in the background people should start to kind of mill in and uh, some purchase some things hopefully so do I have the glitch? Yeah, so the glitch that I was talking about is that for some reason in my game, the flowers are getting left behind. Now the only mod I have installed is MC Command Center, but like I say, my friend tested and it didn't occur for them. It is a new save, so I don't quite know why I'm getting it and they're not getting it. We're trying to figure it out. Um, but And thank you to my friend as well for helping out with that. Um, so yeah, I just letting you know that that's the thing but when i did kind of save and exit and reload that had gone so if you find that the flowers are stacking up it may cause a bit of lag so maybe do just kind of save and reload just to kind of clear it uh just kind of acknowledge that that's the thing he's out there talking to the plants he's really high level gardening as well uh let's go ahead and tend the garden um and just make sure those plants are kind of the best quality that we can possibly get them no plants need tending at the moment. That's a light. I can literally see that that one needs... Oh, it doesn't need watering. I don't know why it's a different colour soil. <laughs> Look at me finding all the bugs. <laughs> okay, here we go. So some people are in here uh, looking for flowers. And we can just go ahead and greet our customers. And uh, hopefully sell something to them. Oh, look. The business is popping. No time to play chess. <laughs> only time to sell flowers Hi, to all these there. poor grieving locals Olaba. fresh from the cemetery Olaba. well hopefully not too fresh from the cemetery if you get what I'm saying <laughs> uh, some of them you can see as well if you hover over the the name socializer means basically they're just here to waste time they're not actually looking to buy they're just basically here to talk to people but some of them are actually customers so you do want to focus your attention on the people who are more likely yeah, to buy the back. socializers I think will buy but uh, it'll be harder to convince them. Um, so where are we? I've got too many interactions. Retail. Uh, you can answer questions, discuss shopping preferences. All that good stuff. He's in a row. Ah. Oh Oh no, I'm gonna. I need to pay my bills. Come on, guys, stop buying flowers. <laughs> Help me out here. Like I say, if you don't want to make, if you don't have seasons, but you do have um, open for business, um, and you don't want to like make the things yourself, you can just grab like decorative flowers out of build buy and just bring those in here and clutter up and set those for sale. I like the whole crafting selling process. Oh, Malcolm is not happy with whatever I just did. Oh, it's because he's evil. <laughs> that explains a few things. Uh, uh, Joaquin. Oh no, I don't want to talk right now. So I'm just going to kind of leave them to it, I guess. Uh, and we'll hope that somebody buys something. Well, I show you the, the rest of the lot. So back here, this is uh, kind of like a little stock room. Uh, it's where you can go, you know, if you've got two employees and you want somebody to kind of get in the back and kind of make more bouquets because, you know, maybe supplying is like 
what is it out demand is outweighing supply um, you can do that and kind of bring them in here and just have them working in the back so if you want to like hire some employees you could have them in here um, or like have the employees doing the custom service thing and you could get back here and make more bouquets uh, you can also take pictures of them which is nice maybe you want to sell art as well um, of the bouquets alongside the flowers themselves but that's kind of the whole like flower business if we look in here this is uh this is actually thane estates um and it's kind of like funerary services so if you want to help with wills you could come here um if you want to have someone do the whole cremation process it's going to be here it's got any kind of funeral service um the thing with this is um it's going to involve a lot of kind of like storytelling um there's not a huge amount that you can do sort of um, without a little bit of imagination but if you want to if you're a storyteller and you want to kind of like do the whole storytelling process through screenshots this is kind of like the waiting area so you can come here there's some tissues the menu is the idea of the menu is kind of like that's what's uh, telling you about the services that are on offer or like the different um, options for cremation or funerary services or whatever it is you want to do. I do think that this picture is slightly ominous, <laughs> you know, above everybody's heads. Um, I, I went for like a really upmarket feel as well. I wanted it to feel expensive and kind of traditional and almost like almost suffocating. So with the dark walls and all the... Um, I don't know it, it kind of feels slightly ominous and oppressive and overwhelming and traditional uh, but I kind of wanted to give it that feel for kind of like the storytelling the idea of kind of like you're in a situation that has a huge amount of history a huge amount of custom and tradition around it and uh, maybe this Thane Estates has been established here for a very very long time uh, clearly there's a little bit of money behind it um, over here you've got kind of like the urns this is kind of showing you your options for what you might want to choose uh, here you've got a butterfly which is symbolic of rebirth I thought that was like a really nice touch uh, jumping out of there uh, in this room you've got the bathroom oh no it's broken oh dear it would be wouldn't it when I'm trying to do a little tour um but yeah just a simple bathroom again a little bit traditional looking a little bit Victorian looking and again more symbology of kind of like rebirth or whatever you want to say like visits from your ancestors with the dragonfly the leapfrog because we leap forward in life not backwards I don't know uh this is like the little office so again if you wanted to uh kind of like role play writing a will uh and you wanted to kind of act that out with screenshots uh you You've got a nice little area to be able to do that again super disappointed that the uh, undertaker career it doesn't have work from home elements uh, just to kind of show you what I'm talking about there so for example Christopher Volkov he's in the um, the gardening career um, and he's actually um, a floral designer so his job actually is to make floral arrangements so I love how compatible that is with the business that I'm running uh, and you can see here his work from home assignment he doesn't have to go to work he can do this actively is to make a flower arrangement and to scent it so he can do that while he's working at the retail venue so that's why I kind of work work from home um, options are really important to me as somebody who likes active gameplay I don't really like having like rabbit hole stuff where you don't see what your sim's doing for 12 hours a day um, but yeah just to kind of explain what I, my process was there um and I like the idea of like this person they're not mean they're not only in it for the money like they do have their own uh you know their own family their own memories so we've got like this little kind of um what would you call that a little cameo like a little box cameo uh trinket from paranormal stuff there uh they've got the little journal from the new pack i like that they've got like the glasses on the table that's from one of the kits uh so yeah i, I figure this is somebody who's slightly sentimental about their own stuff uh and they've got again a few interesting trinkets knocking around there that you know are probably particularly meaningful for them um over here then so this room is the little um what would you call it like the viewing room I'm, I'm not sure um kind of where the remains are stored before they're buried so uh you know sometimes people like to um have a 
a place to kind of view the remains or to pay the respects and so you know leading up to the funeral perhaps you want to just kind of like drag the remains into this box here you can open this you can put things inside it maybe you also want to put like a few flowers in there it's not letting me for some reason I don't know you can put things in there I just don't know what you can and can't put in there I don't I don't know I can't explain that <laughs> Maybe it's just the remains. I thought you could put other stuff in there. Maybe I'm being stupid. Maybe it's because it's a retail business. I'm not sure. Uh, but you've got a few little touches in here, like the candles. Again, I wanted it to feel very like oppressive and almost suffocating, which I don't know. Sometimes that can be the feeling that you have kind of when you're grieving and when you're going through the process of like doing all the legal side, the paperwork, uh, the kind of formalities of the situation. It can feel um, like almost like oppressive and burdensome and so that's the vibe I wanted to create with this room is that kind of like heavy suffocating atmosphere so again I've got these really big thick curtains uh, that cover the window but I do have this window here over the kind of altar um, I wanted something that was like stained glass or something that looked like um, the kind of window that you might find in a religious setting um, so I did try like some of the castle estates windows and things like that but I settled on this one in the end because it felt appropriate to the style of the building uh, the kind of gothic architecture felt out of out of place here so this is kind of like what you might find in like a little chapel in a you know sometimes in a hospital you'll have like a little chapel and so this felt more appropriate to kind of what you'd find in those places but I like the idea of like you know this being almost like a portal to the next life this being something that you can open and uh you know release the spirit is my thought process with that and again, you do have this little altar here, so you can go ahead and, you know, drag things out of your inventory that feel appropriate to the person who's passed away. Maybe they really like pineapples, you can put a pineapple on there. You know, whatever feels significant to you, you can place a lot of items on there. You know, potions, if your person was a spellcaster, I guess. Uh, and of course, like the floral tributes. Well, this one's a little bit big, but you can probably put the smaller ones, the My Wedding Story ones on here, especially if you don't have you know the other items on there already actually having said that let me just try that um let's just move that and pop back in here uh can i place oops can i place this on there yeah you can so you can put your own floral tributes on there as well like i say as well you can sell them via plopsy uh so you just list it on plopsy um I, these are sold so i actually need to uh post those but yeah that's something else you can do with the floral arrangements um maybe you've got too many for your business you've overstocked you can sell some extra excess on plopsy um you've also got the little radio again you could put on some kind of like spooky music or classical music or something in here um and again the idea of kind of like sitting in here uh, and kind of waiting it out um, was an idea uh, and kind of that uncomfortable feeling as well like maybe you're in here with somebody that you know a family member that you're not particularly fond of but you both have a connection to the deceased and kind of the awkward conversations and you know those moments like healing moments as well building bridges that could happen in spaces like this where you kind of stuck in that situation uh, and again this amazing door that came with life and death with like the skull on it and I just think it's really cool but also kind of intimidating which was the look that I kind of wanted to give that room uh, again huge storytelling potential there I would love to do like a whole series of screenshots of kind of like the family gameplay of like the grieving process this room's a little bit creepy but it serves a purpose so the intention of this again with it being like funeral services is to have like the whole mortuary experience um Full moon revelry. Not right now. Has anyone bought anything yet? Anyone bought anything? What is happening in here? <laughs> Customers losing interest. Um, oh, here we go. Just perfect timing. Ready to buy. Where is he? Here he is. Okay. He wants to buy this one. So I can head over there and I can ring up customer. I just want to show you because some of you, it isn't... Um, Get to Work is an older pack and some of you may not be entirely familiar how with how this works. So I did want to just kind of show you the whole process here. Stop giving people aromatherapy massages. <laughs> so here we go, we're running uh, of this customer. Again, you can get employees to help with this. Uh, you can get business perks that speed up this process and make it more efficient. Um, but Christopher is just starting out with his business, so it's going to take him a hot second. There we go, he's bought it, he's going to go and pick it up. Perfect. 
Okay, it's getting a little bit late. It's 8 p.m. So I'm going to go ahead. My cat's snuffling in the background. I'm going to go ahead and close the store uh, and we'll show you the kind of like restocking thing that you can do. So one thing that you can do is remove this sign. Um, and uh, if you wanted to restock this manually, you'd remove the sign and you'd go over and you'd make another arrangement and put it on here. You can also stockpile arrange. Oh, thank you. That's just the business report. You can also stockpile bouquets in the table. So if you wanted somewhere to store them, you can put them in the table itself. Um, but what you can also do if you don't want kind of the pressure, maybe, you know, you're selling things faster than you can make them. And if you want to go ahead and just restock the item, you can just go ahead and do that and it'll kind of restock it from build by uh it'll just kind of duplicate the item there you go so we have another one and again it's still pristine it's still a masterpiece the quality has passed over so that's already set for sale we can kind of leave that to it so again going back over here to the kind of mortuary services this is a spa day table so it is designed to be like be giving people massages so the functionality may be a little bit off uh, but again if you wanted to do screenshots and storytelling you know that option's there for you uh, you have a little sink to wash your hands because i figured that's probably important in that situation and this uh, little statue that came with life and death which kind of looks a little bit like uh you know a, a but something you'd find in a biology classroom, let's put it that way. Um, and then I really like, um, it's kind of a bit morbid, but the Institute the Institute of Human Anatomy is a YouTube channel and they do a lot of stuff about like the body, how the body works, but they will show you cadavers, um, which some people may or may not be comfortable with. When my dad passed away um, and I didn't fully understand what had happened, um, I went and watched a video of from the Institute of Human Anatomy that explained it, you know, by showing you the physiology. And it was helpful to me because then I could accept what had happened because I understood it in a scientific way. Uh, so yeah, it's helpful to some people. Other people find it too grisly. Uh, but just letting you know that that's a thing <laughs> that kind of, you know, is, is part of life, I guess. Um, uh, you know, somebody's got to do that job, right? Um, and so uh, over here as well, this is from, uh, what's this from? Get to Work. It's the science station. Uh, so you find it if you join the science career. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to actually use it um, unless you're a scientist. But again, for storytelling, I like the idea of kind of uh, you know, being able to run the tests and things like that in here. So this is kind of like a private space. I would just lock this off and just let your kind of like business owner be able to access this because you don't want people who are here to kind of view a body, uh, like wander into the wrong room. You know, that could be really shocking and upsetting for them. But again, I just, it is realistic to kind of like, to an extent to what happens uh, when, you know, someone does pass away, you know, these kind of services are offered for a reason. They do have a role to play. And so if you're interested in kind of storytelling, all those different aspects of life, you have this little room. You could change this as well. You could like, you know, if this is too much for you, you could remove this and just have it be like a little waiting room or something like that, or like a second office. You don't have to have that in there if you don't want it. Um, Okay, like let's go around the kind of back of this building as well. The top floors don't have anything in them. So again, if you want to throw some apartments up there or something you could do, look at how like, like all the mist and stuff. It looks like so mysterious and spooky. I love the environment of this pack. It's so good. Around the back, uh, you have this uh, little kind of tarot pop-up tent. The idea of what I wanted to do here was like, it's people offering alternative services. So almost like, um, you know, it's not a legitimate business. It's somebody who's kind of pitched up the tent outside. Um, I'm really into wellness. I'm really into tarot, but um, you do sometimes find people who perhaps are a little bit inappropriate about the timing and the way they conduct their business. And that's kind of the joke that I'm playing here. So the idea is that, you know, this whoever runs this little stall offering tarot services, uh, they see, they kind of popped up here because they see people going into the kind of very traditional stuffy uh, form formulaic uh, services and they want to offer something that's more spiritual a, you know a different practice that may or may not help the person but that's kind of the storytelling that I've got around here so they do have like the little tarot cards they've also got like a little meditation chair 
this is from uh, spa day so again wellness does help with grief uh you know in this pack it is like a legitimate thing so you know if you know the whole stuffy traditional thing isn't working for you you know maybe you want to pop back out here and kind of like do some tarot readings maybe do a little bit of meditation or maybe you've got someone who is very formal and they find oh no he's got that broken hand glitch <laughs> hang on let me reset him uh reset object there we go can you meditate please um so yeah you can go out here and uh you know maybe the person running the place hates the person who hangs out out, out here maybe you want to go and kind of cause trouble or confront the person um you know you can set all those kind of like storylines and uh confrontations in the game no matter who you align with uh but yeah he's kind of meditating out here and maybe that's help helpful to him maybe the pressure of picking an urn was too much and he just wants to come out here and kind of like chill with the nature vibes you know commune with the swamp <laughs> i don't know oh uh, he's a werewolf i don't know i feel like the hippie stuff would work for him a little bit better but again our timer takes life oh why is the roof back there the roof disappeared and now it's back i don't know um are these little lights these are an aspect of seasons if there's a seasons festival going on uh these lights will appear but it's um it's just something like it's like a change that happens to the world uh kind of when an event goes on so when i upload this to the gallery they may or may not have the lights uh and yeah that's more or less it this bike is just kind of left there outside from when cinderella visited but i hope you enjoy this build i hope it's helpful to you i'm going to kind of leave it there oh there's a dumpster as well how did i forget about one of my most favorite features in the entire game the woohoo dumpster there's a woohoo dumpster guys <laughs> again you know maybe disposing of a few unnecessary parts <laughs> back there uh but yeah i like this a lot i like the mixture of um sort of like whole like wholesome and healing with the more challenging aspects of uh life and death so if this is for you the, this lot will be available <laughs> So if this is for you, this lot will be available on my gallery soon. And, uh, you know, it does have a lot of packs uh, that I've used. It's not just one pack. So um, hopefully you'll have everything that's necessary. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. I hope this is useful to you guys. Again, when I get early access, I really want to be of service to the community and show you guys some of the things you can do and build for you and create families for you, uh, which you may or may not find helpful. So uh, this is my this is my civic service <laughs> from getting early access. I hope you enjoy. It. I'm gonna go. Do take care of your faces. Take care of your loved ones. And I uh, yeah, have a great week. Bye, friends.